How's it going everyone? It's Ben Foggins, Media Corner, back again with a brand new video for today. Welcome back to another movie review, aka After Soul. This time for this new episode for the series is going to be my review on the 2024 spy action comedy film, and that is The Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare. Now, the film is based off the book, uh, Chill Chill Secret Warriors, the explosive true story of the Special Forces Desperados of World War II. And in this film, the British military recruit a small, a small group of highly skilled soldiers in which they have to strike against the German forces behind enemy lines during World War II. So, that's pretty much the story of the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare. Now, this is the latest film by director Guy Ritchie, and I do think he is a talented filmmaker. And for some of his films that he's made in recent years, there have been a few handful of them I enjoy quite a bit, even though there's some of the ones I don't find myself like rewatching over and over again. But there are a little few handful of, handful of some of his recent films that I've enjoyed a lot more than some of his other recent films, like uh, The Gentleman, which I overall had a really great time with that movie, and I've rewatched that film ever since I saw that movie back in 2020. And I do think that's one of his one of his best movies he's done in recent years. Uh, but as for me going into this movie, I had little to know about this whole movie. I didn't even know this film was based on a true story until I heard about it uh, when the reviews dropped in for this movie. And this movie is basically based on a true story about the uh, Operation Postmaster. And this is and this whole movie is basically a fictionalized version of that um, that historical event. And I did check out the trailer just as I was about to watch this film at home because uh, this film was released at home in the UK. Like it was released on it was released on Amazon Prime back in July this year. Although in in the US it was released theatrically back in April. But um, I did check out this movie on release day at home on Amazon Prime, which was the twenty fifth of July. And after watching this whole movie here. I overall had a solid time here with this new Guy Ritchie flick here. Although I wouldn't say it's one I would like find myself like rewatching over and over again here, but I overall had a good time here with this new uh, film that he's made here. For the overall storytelling for this movie, I actually found it to be pretty interesting here since it's based on the true story here, which it's basically about um, the Operation Postmaster and the Special Forces of Winston Churchill. And the film does tend to blend in two different types of tones here and there. Like the film tends to be like a comedic film in which when it comes to some of its comedy aspects of the film I found it to be chuckle worthy here and there when it comes to its humor in the film and the movie mostly uh, mostly focuses on that aspect of the film and the film does tend to have its serious moments here and there and all that and it tends to go pretty deep with its uh, portions with some of its portions of the storytelling mostly with um, when, when we do see like the characters interact with each other and I, and I did kind of wish the film could have added a little bit more of, a, of the seriousness here since this film is based on a serious true story here that is pretty dark and um, as for the pacing for the film, I did feel it was pretty weak here. Yeah. And um, the runtime for the film, uh, it, the film is two hours and two minutes. And I kind of felt a couple of minutes of the film could have been shaved off a little bit, like 15 minutes or something like that. And as for the characters themselves here, yeah, um, I found them to be pretty um, solid in the film, even though they don't have a whole lot of depth to them. But I did find them to be pretty entertaining here, yeah, most due to the performances. Like you've got Henry Cavill in the film, and I thought he was pretty fun in the movie. And you also have in the film as well, like Alan Richardson, Alex Pettifer, Isa Gonzalez, uh, Kerry Alwis, Henry Golding, and Rory Kinnear. Like, I thought everyone for the most part were pretty fun and solid in the film. And as for its action scenes, they were overall pretty fun for the most part. And they do have a good amount of energy when it comes to the violent action scenes in the film. And they were directed pretty well done here by Guy Ritchie. Like the opening scene and some of the other action-packed moments that we do see in the film here as well. So all in all, the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare, I overall had a solid time here with this new Guy Ritchie flick, yeah. It's certainly one I wouldn't find I, I wouldn't find this one being absolutely memorable or anything. But it was still but again, I overall had a good solid time here. And if you're overall a huge fan of like Guy Ritchie or you're a fan of like any of the stars like Henry Cavill, or you do know about this whole true story here that this film does tackle on here, this one might be a cup of tea here. So that's pretty much all I have to say about the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare. I'm gonna give the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare Three and a half out of five. All in all, like I said, it was a solid flick, yeah. But again, it's definitely one of I wouldn't find myself like rewatching over and over again here. And while it has a few of its flaws here and there, again, I still overall had a solid time here with this new Guy Ritchie flick here. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching for my AKF first saw review on the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare. And let me know what you think of this movie. If you have seen this already or if you just recently checked this out, did you have a blast with this? Always is not your cup of tea. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. And this has been Falcons Media Corner signing off.